Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Elliot. Today I'm going to be looking at the Royal Kludge RK61. It's a keyboard you can get for around $50 and it's really good. I just want to say that. Today I'm going to be looking at it or reviewing it to see whether or not you guys should buy it. It's a 60% keyboard as you can see, so it's really small and it's fully mechanical. It's also hot swap, so this is a very exciting video, so you guys are probably not going to want to miss it. Like I said, this keyboard is 60%, meaning it's only 60% of a normal keyboard. So basically you have everything that a normal keyboard has, but it's just a lot smaller. You're gonna have to press like FN and then another key to do like your F keys. You hold down FN and press another key. So if you guys were wondering about that, you still have access to all the keys. They're just put inside other keys. So you have to hold down like FN. So some people are probably not gonna like that, but if you're a gamer, this is very good because it allows you to have a lot more space for your mouse. It basically just makes the keyboard shorter and then there's more room for your mouse. This keyboard is mechanical. I'll do a sound test and stuff later. I got this model with red switches, but it comes with blue and brown switches, and they are their own RK switches, which I'll get into later. This keyboard is also hot swap, so if you don't know what that means, basically you can swap out the switches, and I'll explain that a little bit more in depth later, but basically that means this keyboard can be upgraded a lot. So I have the wired model here. There is a wireless model, but this one has detachable USB-C. As you can see here, just the USB-C cable. It's detachable, which is nice. So you can replace the cable, I think. I don't know this for sure because I haven't done that, but I'm pretty sure you can. And this is the black version, it also comes in white. On the back here, there are not flip up feet, but there are these like little rubber pads here, which just keep it on the desk pretty firmly. So I think the keycaps are ABS. I'm not entirely sure about this, but I think they're ABS. They feel fine, the texture's good. This keyboard has full RGB, as you can see, and there are quite a few different modes. If you, if you press FN and then this key here, you can swap like different lighting modes. So some of them are like this, where it just press it like that. There's a whole lot of RGB modes. I think there might be a software. I can't promise you guys that, but there might be a software. There are a lot of different lighting modes and you can set this to an individual color if you don't want a bunch of RGB, but it does have full RGB. It's per key RGB, which is really nice. It is a $50 keyboard, so I guess that is kind of to be expected, but it's really nice. There's a lot of different things. You can do all sorts of things with the lighting and you can change like the speed of the lighting, all sorts of stuff with the lighting you can do. So this keyboard is made entirely out of plastic, I'm pretty sure. The back plate behind the switches, or keycaps I guess, is, I don't know what that's made out of, I'm pretty sure it's just plastic. So I guess it's gonna feel kind of hollow, but overall this keyboard feels good and I'll show you guys a sound test later, like I said, and it sounds good to me. So in the box, it comes with a switch puller and a keycap puller. This is a keycap puller here, I don't know why I said switch puller first, but you can take the keycaps off like this. This is the mechanical keyboard. I'm gonna just take the control key off because that one's over there. I don't really know how you use this thing very well, but it works. And as you can see, I got the red switches here. They're red. And these are linear switches. It also comes in browns and blues. I recommend red switches or brown switches. Don't get blue switches. I mean, you can if you really want to. They're gonna be really loud and clicky, so I just don't recommend them. I don't know how well you guys can hear this, but here's a quick sound test for red switch. Put it closer to the microphone here. It doesn't really have a whole lot of sound except when it comes back up. You need, there is no bump, it's linear, so it's just smooth all the way down. If you don't like that, you may want to get brown switches and blue switches. You can get blue switches too, but they're really clicky and stuff and just, I would not recommend them. And they are hot swap, I'm not going to take them off because I just don't really want to do that. I don't need to, but if you want to, they can come off and I have taken them off before and put them back on. It works, it is hot swap, I can confirm. Overall, this keyboard has really good build quality and all around it's durable and feels nice. Like everything feels good on this keyboard. And what's good about this keyboard also is it's so customizable. Like I said, hot swap switches, so you can put like pretty much any switch in there. Since this keyboard is $50, it's pretty beginner friendly, I think. But if you like mechanical keyboards and you're like, I want to get into this more and get better switches, you can put those switches in this keyboard, which I really like. Here's the design. It's kind of angled like this. Like I said, there's no actual feet on the bottom, but it is kind of like slanted like this, which I think is good for most people. Some people may not like it, but I think it's pretty good. It's not a super gamery look. And you can get this in white, so it can kind of match like an office theme. I don't know. It's not super gamery. 
And overall, yeah, this keyboard looks really nice. And the keycaps, as you can see, it just has that kind of standard font, not super gamery, and it's at the middle center of the keycap. Some of these have white accents that tell you, like, if you press FN and you press that, what it does. I'll do a sound test here. Okay, so overall, the switches sound pretty good in my opinion. You can lube them and stuff because it is hot swap. You can just take the switches out and take them apart, and that's not super hard. It does come with replacement switches, which is really nice. It comes with replacement switches, keycap puller, and a switch puller. It also comes with the manual and stuff like that, and that's what comes in the box. I don't really have the box here. It comes with switches of the type that you bought. So I bought red switches, and it comes with extra red switches. So if you like break a switch pin or something, you can just put a new switch in there, which is really nice. You don't have to buy new switches. Take one off here. They are RK switches, which I guess is RK's Royal Fudge. I don't know. Their own switches that they made. I don't know how it works, but I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says RK on there somewhere. And they're basically just RK switches, which feel pretty good in my opinion. They're not going to be the best switches because this is a $50 keyboard, but they seem fine. And if you wanted to upgrade them, you can lube them and do stuff like that if you're like into mechanical keyboards. But I think for beginners, it sounds pretty nice. The space bar is slightly wobbly here. The stabilizer is kind of wobbly, but it sounds pretty decent. I think the space bar is partially lubed, like on the stabilizers. So it's a little bit wobbly, but like when you're in game, it sounds pretty nice, especially compared to like other keyboards I've used. There is a little bit of like pinging noise which you hear like from the spring, I guess, in the switches. I don't really know how that works, but I kind of hear it sometimes. If you, if you listen very carefully, you can hear it. And some people may be bothered by this, but I'm not, especially when I wear headphones. Like, I'm not really listening to this. And if you don't like the pinging thing, you can just get better switches, I think. That would probably remove it. And these are red switches, so they're gonna be decently quiet. And I like that because I do make gaming videos. So I like having quieter switches that also sound pretty decent. And I may modify this keyboard or something in the future, so if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe and then comment down below like that you want to see that, and I'll probably do that. I also may upgrade my membrane keyboard, which I, which I reviewed, so you can check that out. It's the NPET K10. But yeah, I may upgrade this keyboard because it's so upgradable. You can switch out keycaps, switches, you can switch out the cable, and technically you could paint this probably if you wanted to. I got the black one. Now, if you look really closely, I don't know how you guys can see because of the RGB. So let me, here, I'll take this off. But if you look closely in the back, the lighting is kind of hard to see, but the back plate is white. So if that bothers you a lot, you may like want to consider a different keyboard, but the back plate is white. I don't actually notice at all. And it probably makes the RGB brighter. So one of the disadvantages of having a 60% keyboard is that your arrow keys, you can't always use your arrow keys. You have to hold down like FN to use arrow keys, which I mean, is not the biggest downside, but it's definitely a downside. So you may want to consider like a TKL keyboard and Royal Clutch has some of their other keyboards, which are different sizes. And I like this keyboard because it's hot swap. If it wasn't hot swap, it would be fine. Like it sounds pretty decent, but since it's hot swap, you can modify it so much and probably make it sound so much better. So overall, do I recommend this keyboard? And the answer to that is yes. It's a great keyboard for $50. It has everything you really need in a keyboard and more. So literally you could just get this keyboard and then later you can be like, oh, I wanna make my keyboard better. Then you can upgrade it. It's amazing. Now I know you could definitely get a lot better keyboards, but considering it's hot swap and all the customizability and stuff like this, this keyboard is really good for the money. And I think most people should get this if they're considering like a $50 keyboard. This should probably be one of your picks. So that's just my thoughts on this keyboard. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm only at like seven subscribers. We're trying to get to 10 subscribers and we'll might, we might do something at 10 subscribers. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.